So it says here that, you know, because I'm a big just invest in the S&P index mm -hmm. fund. Mm -hmm. I don't do individual stocks. You know, who mm -hmm. knows what's happening with the market? Yep. Who knows what's happening with Tesla? Mm -hmm. But I'm very confident the S&P is going to go 10% year over year over year mm -hmm. as, as it's it. So let me just read you some numbers here. If you invest $10,000 uh, in the S&P index in 2007, you'd be sitting on 71 grand right now. So mm -hmm. it's 7x your money. If you invested that 10K... Uh, into an index cards for trading, it'd be worth 165 grand. Not so bad. So over double that. So um, to your point, picking out cards, individual uh, individuals, is there an actual index for cards? Like if I said, look, I don't know if I, if I want a Trey Young or a Zion or a Brady, I don't want the responsibility of picking this one card, whether it goes up or down. Mm -hmm. Who knows? Is there an index that people can invest in just like the S&P 500? No, there, there are funds out there. There are a couple card funds out there. I know that a company called Alt has a, has a fund. I know mm -hmm. that Blowout has the Wax Fund, which uh, I like as well. And I know that there are other entities that I think they're doing it more for uh, for private clients. There are indexes. Like if you, if you go get an app called Card Ladder, mm -hmm. um, it is a pricing tool. And they have like an app of you. You can check sports by basically typing baseball, basketball, and they have a ba they have a basket of the most highly collected uh, cards, and they show you what the trend is on that individual card. But no, they, as as it gets bigger, it would be great if there were uh, readily accessible funds. The closest thing to it now that you can buy without being an accredited investor is mm -hmm. probably the fractional share companies. Um, you know, whereby you can buy an individual like, hey, you, know, you want to go out and get Mickey Mantle cards, mm -hmm. you know, buy shares of Mickey Mantle cards or buy shares of Michael Jordan or LeBron James. That's the closest thing to it right now. <clears throat> what are now. those companies called again? Uh, you've got Rally. You've Rally. got Otis. You've got Collectible. There's a new one coming out with some ultra high end uh, items called uh, Liquid Marketplace. I think they're launching in the next month or two. Uh, but those are four groups that would be, um, you know, if, you, if you're looking to do that type of thing. Mm -hmm. If you enjoyed this short clip, click over here to watch another short clip. And if you want to watch the entire episode, the entire podcast, click here.